Stockinette stitch is one of the most basic stitches in knitting. Um, it's used incredibly often, and um, it results in a fabric that looks like this. It has a right and a wrong side. This is the knit side, or the right side, um, and it looks should look like columns of little interlocking V's. And then the wrong side, or the purl side, is going to be rows and rows of purl bumps. And it is worked like this. When you come to it in a um, knitting pattern, it's going to be usually abbreviated STST, which is um, stockinette stitch. And all you do, please excuse my my rather pathetic throwing style. You'd think as I make more of these videos I'd get better at this, but it hasn't happened yet. Your first row, it's usually the first rows and um, first row and odd rows that are going to be your knit rows. And you're going to knit, just knit the entire row. And then turn it around and you're going to purl row two and all of your even numbered rows. Usually. Whoops. If it's anything different from that, your pattern sh will, should stipulate, but kind of basic stockinette stitch is going to be knit a row, purl a row, knit a row, purl a row. And if you're thinking about designing something using stockinette stitch, the thing to keep in mind with it is that it curls. It just does. It's just the nature of the fabric. Um, and so if you want to, for instance, make a sweater and you want it to have a nice edge at the hem that lays flat, you're going to have to add some ribbing or work the edge in garter stitch or something like that. A stitch that lies flat because um, stockinette stitch is going to, well, the edge tends to curl up like that. The more you knit, the more curly it becomes. Um, so that is my very wonky looking row of stockinette.